Hey guys, it's Libby, and I want to start off this video with a few apologies. Number one, sorry for my absence here on YouTube. I've missed three posting days now. I'm sorry, I was moving back home. It's been sort of hectic. I'm like looking for a job. It's things have been crazy and I haven't had time, so I'm sorry. Um, number two, sort of related to that, I am sorry that I haven't been answering comments. I sort of dropped the ball on that when finals came around and when all the drama at my school came around and I just haven't gotten back to it. So hopefully I will catch up on that one to two months of comments, but give me some time. Yeah. Um, anyways, um, I also want to apologize for my face. It's like a hot mess right now because I'm like, I'm getting like chemical peels and things to try to fix it. Um, but I'm, I'm like trying to avoid wearing makeup and stuff because of that. Anyways, moving on to the content of the video. Um, recently a company reached out to me. They're like a company slash website called Take Lessons. Um, which believe it or not, it's a website where you can take lessons all right so <laughs> they told me that they've got sign language classes and they wanted me to try them out and tell you guys about them if i liked them and so i was like i mean okay i'll try them out and i want to stop here before i get into that and say a little disclaimer that i am a hearing student already camera died about a minute in this is a good start um <laughs> my disclaimer um, I just want to say that I'm not deaf or hard of hearing. I'm not really like a member of the deaf community, although I do um, like dabble in it. What is what what is the word I'm looking for? Like immerse myself from time to time. I'm just a hearing ASL student, so um, some people might believe that my opinion is invalid. That's fine. That's their opinion. Totally fine, um, but I am the target market being like an ASL student So I do think that my opinion has some validity just in my experience and how I thought the learning process went and whatnot So yeah, just disclaimer to start this off um, Anyways, so take lessons offered me a trial membership to go on their website and take a few ASL classes and see what I thought um they don't offer only ASL classes, they've got like all sorts of classes, which I think is super awesome because I have some other things I need to learn like Spanish and uh, other things, I don't know. But I think it's cool. But they do offer ASL classes, obviously the point of the video. Wow, I'm like talking at 100 miles an hour I feel like and like kind of like did it like all over the place. Sorry, I have a lot of energy today for some reason, which is abnormal. I don't know how to deal with it. Um, Anyways, I went in skeptical just because I have my opinions on some good ways that ASL can be taught. Again, I'm just a hearing student, but I am the market. So, um, I've got my opinions and I've had other people come to me and I've come across other things online that don't quite reach what I think is an acceptable level of education standards. Um, but, yeah, so I went in skeptical, which I think is always a good thing to do. Um, but upon taking a look at the website and the way they do it and also taking a couple classes i can say that i think it's kind of a good model like i like it so the way the classes work is they are live classes which means that the teacher is live streaming themselves teaching the class and you also have a webcam like a filming you so the teacher can see you um, and the classes I took were group classes, although I'm pretty sure you can pay additional extra money to get like one-on-one -on -one classes, which is cool. But yeah, so the teacher is live streaming themselves, teaching the class, and then they're also watching you for when you want to answer questions and do the things they tell you to do and stuff. So I think that that's super crucial for teaching and learning ASL is to have it be a live class. Right now, my brother's actually taking an ASL class online through um, his college for his language credit. And the way it's done there, which is convenient, but not the best way, is just like the teacher films herself, um, like doing like a five minute video of like everything they need to learn and then sends it to all the students and is like, good luck, and then gives them some tests and stuff, which my brother is struggling with a bit because traditionally in class, 
for ASL especially, you really need that kind of interaction with the other students and the teacher to really understand things, memorize things. Um, so the fact that this is a live class with live interactions between you and the teacher and the other students is super awesome in my opinion and I think in anyone's opinion. Um, sure it's a little more inconvenient because you've got to show up at a specific time for the lessons but if you do happen to sign up for a class and then miss it they send you a summary of the class and they send it to you whether you attended or didn't attend the class. They, they'll send you like a sort of a summary of like everything we learned. Here you go. Here's the video. So you kind of get the best of both worlds with take lessons which is super cool. Um, yeah. I also want to mention that while you can see the teacher and while you and the students are also filming yourselves, you don't typically see the other students, um, you're just seeing the teacher. The teacher can highlight other students if they want to like participate in activity or ask a question or answer a question. They can like bring that student's um, video up for everyone else to see. And when I say everyone else, I mean like two or three people. The class sizes are extremely small, which again is awesome. You get a lot of attention from the teacher, which is very important. That way they can watch what you're doing, see if you're doing it correctly. If you've got any questions, they've got time for that. So really small class sizes. And if you're nervous about other people watching you sign, don't be nervous because the classes are like four people max from my experience, which is awesome. Um, I think I've said awesome so many times and that's super cringy, like awesome, it's so awesome, but sorry. <laughs> Anyways, one thing I will say about that though, like not being able to see the other students, is like, I wish you could see the other students for a few reasons. Um, oftentimes the teacher will like ask you a question or like ask the whole class a question or like tell them to do something like sign something or like some sort of exercise or something and you can't see the other students and you can't hear the other students um personally i wish that you could because whenever the teacher like asked a question i didn't know if i was supposed to speak my answer um but then I thought like everyone would be speaking on top of each other and I will just throw this in there that the two teachers that I took classes from were hearing, although there are deaf teachers, I'll get into that later. Um, I'm like using my hands a lot, sorry. Um, <laughs> so you can't see the other students, so like I didn't know if I was supposed to speak my answer or sign my answer or like type my answer in this little chat log that everybody can see. Like I, I didn't know what the teacher wanted from me and I could have asked. I really could have asked. The teachers I had were super nice, but I just felt awkward because that's me. Um, but yeah, I didn't, and like, and I wish I could have seen slash heard the other students because I wanted to know what their answers were and stuff. And like when we were doing activities, um, I guess I wanted to know when they were done, you know, like I was done, but like, were they done? Did I finish too quick? I don't know. You know what I mean? It, it's nice to be able to see the other students, but yeah, they can only highlight, and by highlight, I mean like show the videos of two other students at a time. So you do sometimes get the opportunity to work with other students, like they'll like highlight two students and like y'all will work together, um, like on an activity or whatever, and the other students, if there are other students, will just watch for that time, which is cool, again. Um, something that I just want to say though, is that if you take these classes, pretty, pretty please, Use like a webcam, like a laptop, or like if you're using your phone, please set it down somewhere. A good number of people <laughs> that I took classes with didn't quite understand that, oh, this is sign language. They need to be able to see what I'm signing. <laughs> and they'd like have their phone like up to here, which the thing is, if you're on your phone, everyone that you're looking at is this big you know so you gotta hold your phone this close to your face but then we can't see your signing because you're signing right here next to your head so that we can see it so highly recommend using a laptop using a phone it's great that they offer it on a phone if you don't have a laptop especially but laptop is definitely the better way to go because it's really hard when you're holding your phone this close to you and you're trying to sign and stuff anyways <laughs> small rant over um <laughs> yeah so so on the website you can read the bios of the teachers and see what their background is there are some hearing interpreters there are some deaf people um you can again just go on the website I kind of forget the details of everybody but um 
Yeah, so they've got a mix of hearing and deaf teachers. I've personally never taken an ASL class taught by a hearing teacher, so that was a different experience for me. Like in my ASL classes, it's obviously signing only because you're with um, deaf teachers. So it was weird for me to like speak answers and stuff like that when I thought I should be maybe signing them. Again, that also plays into the I didn't know what was expected of me and I was too afraid to ask thing. Um, <laughs> So yeah, so there are hearing teachers and deaf teachers. If you prefer one over the other, you have the option to just take classes from those people, you know, um, because you can pick and choose any classes you wanted. I took a like finger spelling basics class and then a like restaurant slash shopping vocab class. And they happen to both be taught by hearing interpreters who are pretty young actually, uh, maybe like mid twenties. Um, but I happen to take two classes from two hearing people. Um, there are deaf people though teaching on there. I just haven't had an opportunity to take one of those classes yet. Anyways, um, so, but if you do prefer a deaf teacher or you do prefer a hearing teacher, you can like take only those classes taught by those people. And now to move on just a little bit about the content of the classes. Like I said, I took a finger spelling class and then like a restaurant vocab class. And they were both definitely aimed at beginners and a lot of the titles of the classes do say beginner in them or something of that nature um, or it's pretty clear that it's meant for beginners um, something I thought was weird was there wasn't like a set out curriculum it seemed at least for like the restaurant vocab she was just kind of like what restaurant do you guys like to go to okay what kind of food would you order there da 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 like moving on like kind of like the things that we chose to learn which is fine and it's good because then you get to learn the things maybe that you want to learn specifically but I guess I was hoping for like a little bit more like I wanted more like a set curriculum and I wanted to learn like this 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 you know not like oh how do you say syrup <laughs> you know um I like IHOP <laughs> so um it was still like an informative class. The students that I took the classes with were definitely on the beginning side of their ASL journey um, and there's nothing wrong with that. I guess I just wish that they had some more intermediate or advanced level classes. Maybe they just don't have a market for that yet. Maybe if I stay on the website and some of you guys come on the website too, they'll be like, oh, there's a need for more advanced classes and they'll make some. I don't know. Um, I'm sure they're super open to feedback as well. Um, they'll be watching this video, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, but that would be like my only main complaint as far as the curriculum goes is that there isn't any advanced classes really out there that I've seen. I might just be missing them. I don't know. But yeah. The next thing I want to talk about is just how to take the classes. So first things first, you need to make an account. And this website does cost money. The classes do cost money. But you're getting an education and it's very small class sizes. And if you don't have other places to take the classes, which normally classes cost money no matter what um no matter where you take them i think it's fair you know um you guys always ask me oh how can i learn asl from home or in my home area i always give you guys like the sign dictionaries that i use and then i say hey look for like a deaf coffee chat in your area or try to find a school for the deaf or a community college that offers classes all that kind of stuff but sometimes you like that's not enough or you don't have classes in your area this is a great other alternative for you guys um so yes it does cost money but what doesn't cost money these days you know um <laughs> so you can sign up for the classes they offer usually two to three a day in the sign language department which i think is pretty awesome that they dang i said awesome again um <laughs> i think it's good that they offer multiple a day that way you get like a variety to choose from as well as different times like what you're available for um, most of them I've seen have been in the evenings, but they do have some in the afternoons, other times of the day. Um, but I think evenings is good. I think that's when a lot of people are available. So yeah, they offer a couple every day and often are rotating through the teachers a lot. So you have the opportunity to take classes from different teachers very frequently. And like the finger spelling class I took was taught by one woman, but in a couple weeks they'll offer it again and it'll be taught by someone else you know so if maybe you took it with this person maybe in a couple weeks you want to go take it with this person because maybe they've got something different to offer you know um but yeah so 
that is sort of like a gist of how it works and what my experience was with it. Just to sum it all up, I think it's a good website. I think that the model is good. I love that it's live classes and very small class sizes. My only complaints are that I wish that there was more set curriculums and I wish that there were some more advanced classes especially. But maybe if that need comes, again, like I said, they'll do that. Um, yeah, so that's sort of that's my experience with it. Um, again, I'm just a hearing student, but I am the target market, so take that for what it is. Um, I will leave the link down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. Like I mentioned at the beginning, the website offers all sorts of classes, so if you need help with calculus or computer programming or Spanish or German or whatever, you know, they've got classes, and I think that's so cool because you can't always go sign up for a college course to take what you want to take. You can't always find it at your high school or your middle school. You can't find it at like a community center or like a senior center, which most of y'all don't qualify for. Um, you know, so I think it's a great alternative out there for online education and it seems that they recruit people to teach that are qualified too. So that's always good. <laughs> um, yeah, so. That is that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it informative. And if you guys check it out, let me know. I'd love to know your guys' experience as well. If you have any more questions, check out their website. I'm sure that they've got an FAQ on there. Um, or you can ask me. I might be able to answer. I might not be able to. Um, I'm also two months behind on comments, so it'll probably take a while for me to get to those questions. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend or week, depending on when you're watching this. Yeah.